Hi YouTube, right, this is um, a short video on a homemade AMPR system that I'm making at the moment <clears throat> and I need a bit of your help as well. Uh, what it is, I've um, got an Axis uh, video server, it's running inside the boot of my BMW. Um, it's got a, a 3G connection, um, I'm going to show you a little bit more in the video in a little while and I'm going to put a, a bit in the description below so if you have a look, <clears throat> it'll be there. Uh, Currently got the AMPR running okay, it's just a few settings like the processor and allowing more uh, allocation for the CPU for it to run a little bit better. It's only running on a laptop at the moment, I've got a much larger uh, PC indoors um, which eventually will be running over um, 3G to the video server um, which, will, which will be okay I believe. Um, what it does is it flags up um, vehicles that are in a database uh, onto a, a window. Um, it's, a, it's a free bit of software I found at the moment uh, with a 30 day trial and I'm just fiddling about with that for my own personal use to um, get that running all the time without to just keep re deleting it and reinstalling it like I am at the moment every 30 days. But we'll get around that and I'll, I'll eventually post the, the link to the, uh, the software in there as well. But the, the, main, the main help that I need from you guys is I'm looking for uh, people that can do uh, coding and um, like writing um, stuff for spreadsheets like CSV files because at the moment the um, the AMPR is picking up the number of plates okay and it's putting it into um, a database which I can then export to um, anywhere else on the laptop uh, as a CSV file um, to be opened up and looked in a spreadsheet and you can add certain flags on there like um, unmarked police vehicle, um, people that are driving recklessly, you can just, the idea is that you, you could put these into there and you could be driving around and it, it would flag up particular vehicles that you that you choose wish or um, if you're a bailiff and you're looking for certain vehicles you can put them into the database and then it will flag it up. What I, what I want to do is, uh, once I've got the CSV file, is write some sort of code in that um, you can probably embed into that as some description. I'm not a programmer, so I'm not using the wrong terminology. But the idea is um, that once it's downloaded to the CSV file, it'll automatically um, paste that information onto a browser uh, of a particular site that just does a, a basic vehicle check of make, model, colour, year, engine size, and then return them uh, values back to the CSV file. Um, ready for uploading or importing back to the software so then you've not only got the vehicle but you can then have make model colour in the alert window when it comes up. Just something I want to muck about with. Um, I think it can be done. I've seen uh, like grabbing software that uh, grabs information from websites um, but I, I, I'm not too sort of technically knowledgeable about that but I do need your help. If there's anyone out there that can uh, help me with my contact details I'll put in the link as well but I'm just going to show you a short video now of um, basically what, what I've got in the car and I'll be back in a minute see you soon uh, sorry about the quality of the video it's on my iPhone but um, I just thought I'd show you guys my homemade uh, AMPR system it's my, going to be my first testing of it today um, let me just show, tell you a little bit about what we've got here uh, this is in the boat of uh, my little BMW hatchback one series on 57 plate um, and what we've got here is uh, this, this black box here which is fixed down with some like double sided foam tape uh, it's a 4 channel axis, you can see that in there it's an axis 4 channel video server 241Q um, a couple of hundred pounds pick them up on eBay uh, I managed to have a couple knocking about uh, the next thing is um, it's actually got 4 channels they're all BNC um, composite video input. I've actually got two inputs at the moment. We'll go into them in a little bit more detail, but one of them does a reversing camera. One of them does a AMPR camera, which is the focus on my video today. Um, at the back of the access server, you've got a power, which I've just temporarily made up in the connected block at the moment with some other power devices, which we'll go through in a minute. Uh, we've got um, Cat5, cable which is connected to a wireless router. Now the, the reason I've done it like this with the wireless router is for two reasons. Um, I'm going to eventually be putting this on a 
permanent power supply when I work out the issues about the current drain on the battery and whether I need to pop another little battery in here that being so I can leave the server running remotely and access it via the web because it will transmit over a 3G dongle and it also gives me access locally via Wi-Fi so when I'm in the car and it's at the moment turned on via the ignition um, I can then pick it up on my laptop sorry <clears throat> which is running the AMPI software or I can uh, just use the web browser, uh, web server sorry, that's, that's built into this and connect to it locally on a local IP address like 192.168.1.100 or whatever the IP address is set to this. I recommend um, not allowing DHCP um, and giving this a, a dynamic local IP address, uh, a static local IP address sorry, you must forgive me. Um, that way you can always connect to it every time and then just have it set up on your iPhone as a, uh, an app or um, just save the web browser uh, onto your home screen so you can connect to it all the time. Now at the moment I've got a little relay in here, this, the reason being is because uh, when, when the power is applied to this uh, when the ignition comes on it doesn't turn the router on, like, you have to manually press the button on and off at the back because I didn't want to keep getting into the boot just here. Sorry about the video, I'm just uh, not concentrating properly. But there's a little on-off button and you have to keep turning it on and off with the router. So I thought I'm going to open it up, found the switch connections and soldered on a little temporary relay which will momentarily close for a second or so. And that is connected to a little um, key fob that I've got on my keys so I can switch the turn on. The rest of it's all turned on by the ignition. This runs on 5 volts, so I've got a little 5 volt adapter there, 12 volts in to 5 volts out. That powers this unit. Um, and that all goes under a nice hatch in the boot. Now at the moment we've got the uh, one of the cameras going along here. Connects into what we've got, which is um, a reversing camera with infrared LEDs. And the second unit, which we have here, is going up at the moment temporarily wired. Um, once it's all in there, by the way, it all just goes nicely covered up in the boot, you can't see it, it's underneath the flat so it's all well out of the way haven't had to take anything out to accommodate the cables go up at the moment and then if I just put my boot flat you can see that in here we've got my AMPR camera which is made on a little homemade bracket, a bit of metal that I've bent round and put a screw in and bolt and found a, another piece of bracketry for angling and moving about and that's all connected to the headrest as we go around the car and go through the back of the seat, we have the ribbon cables at the moment connected. And for the moment, this is supplied via that um, via a cigarette socket underneath the mid console of the car. The reason I've done that is because I don't want the camera to keep coming on and off um, every time I turn the ignition off because it does create a, a little bit of heat at the moment. Just uh, working on that and. Obviously it's just temporarily for the moment, but it all will be wired up with a bank of switches of some description, either remotely. Um, but the, the brilliant thing about all this is that once all the wires are hidden, I can spring my laptop in and not have to connect to anything because of the wireless signal created by the 3G router in the boot. And there we have that. can't see this very well, bear with me YouTube, but this is the AMPR software running on the exit to a car park. Shows the logs of the number of plates. There's one. a bit slow but there's the software if you see it. Right so that's the last of it really, um, as you can see a little bit of work needs doing to it uh, cosmetically as well um, but it works okay at the moment for my requirements if you're looking to go into it a bit further but yeah the um, the main issue I've got with the, the stuff over there is um, getting the data uh, back from um, a website so say if you go to like www.mycarcheck.com and you paste a, 
and a number plate he will bring back make Ford model um, KA etc color engine year reg um, and I've seen some websites that when you do put that in the URL changes to www.mycarcheck.com forward slash AB10 for LQ and anything like that that might be a number plate um, so I'm possibly working with putting the um, the website into the CSV and, and using some sort of software or coding to get that to return the details off that website and paste it back into the CSV file. I hope there's anyone out there that can help. Cheers pals and I shall uh, keep you all updated on this and uh, yeah hopefully it should be fun and uh, anyone who's interested in getting it set up in their vehicle possibly once it's all tried and tested and working excellent and or uh, purchasing databases I'm not sure legally how that stands, but um, we'll see how we go. But yeah, I'll uh, keep you all updated. Cheers, guys.